What's going on guys? Now that the NFL rosters are finally up to date and the NFL regular season is starting, the rosters are now correct and I'm ready to go back to what helped my channel take off. The offline Minnesota Vikings franchise. The Vikings are my favorite team and I cannot wait to dig into this new franchise mode this year. They've made a lot of changes and I haven't even messed with it yet. And So this is my first time sinking my teeth into the franchise mode. Alright, we gotta do settings here. Okay, we want this to be six minutes roughly, and we want the trade deadline, no pre-existing injuries, and we'll do user on all this stuff, uh, edit player off, and so we're going to start, and now I'm, uh, I know that you get a bunch of undrafted guys on your team right away that I wish you could just go through and pick which guys you wanted, but I guess... You don't get to choose everything in this franchise mode, but I do like the changes they've implemented this year from what I've seen, and the gameplay is so much better, which is going to make this a lot more enjoyable. And so I'm not sure what difficulty I'll be playing on yet. I'm probably going to be messing with sliders and possibly experimenting with a few things, and so episode one will probably be when I get that stuff ready. But for now, we're going to be in the preseason. I'm probably actually going to play it because I have to choose what guys I want to cut and what guys I want to keep. And so we'll go to the player roster. We'll look at our depth chart. And so we got McNabb, Ponder, Webb, and Zappalak. Can't say I've ever heard of him. I'm guessing he's going to get cut right away. And, ooh, I don't like the fullback situation we got here in Minnesota with D'Imperio. And he's actually only on the practice squad, Minnesota's real team. And so I'm probably going to either switch Jim Klein Saucer to fullback or take one of those guys. And so just taking a look here at my roster probably just going to stick with most what the Vikings have in the actual NFL and um, maybe a few changes here and there I'm gonna look at the free agency and I'm gonna have to see how much cap room I have to see if I can make the changes I would do I really want to get low footed Tupu on here but I'm gonna see how he fits as an outside linebacker because EJ is staying in the middle I just don't like Aaron Henderson at this position the left outside linebacker but maybe I need to save a cap room and start working on cornerback as Antoine Winfield's getting pretty old and we need to find a replacement for him. We'll go through Hussein Abdullah. Definitely going to be keeping him for a while. And the strong safety. This battle right here is going to be decided for me in the preseason. The Vikings have chosen Jamarcus Sanford in the actual NFL. But I'm going to let the game decide what's going to happen through preseason. And so I don't know why we have backup punters and kickers, but... They're not going anywhere. They're probably not going to get hurt. They better not anyways. And so this is just going to be the first episode of this franchise series, the introduction to the series. Not going to be very long and there isn't any gameplay, but let's start the free agents. Okay, we'll go through David Garrard. I wonder who's going to jump on him. Clinton Portis. I don't like him. All right, we'll go through and look at the outside linebackers. Julian Peterson... I might make an acquisition here because I definitely am not comfortable with Aaron Henderson at this point, and Keith Bullock is too old to be on my team. But like I said, I kind of want Lofa to Dupu, but he has a. I'm pretty sure he'd have a very big price tag if I wanted to sign him. Like, what would happen? Okay, I can't even check it right now. Cornerbacks: Randall Gay, Adrian Peterson ran him over a couple years ago. Bruce Johnson, Oselio Hansen. All right, not too many big names here, so I might have to stick with what the Vikings have right now. Ooh, Darren Sharper. But he's going to be retiring after one more year, probably. And so, that's it, guys. This is, the, this is the introduction to this series. This is what helped me get my channel off the ground when I first started making these commentaries a little over two months ago. And so I'm excited to bring this series back. And on the new and improved Madden 12, with the improved franchise mode and the gameplay is now better. And we'll go here look at the player roles before we end this ep the episode. We got Christian Ponder, the quarterback of the future, probably going to let McNabb have, this, have the Vikings this year and then transition to Christian Ponder next year. Michael Jenkins is an underachiever. Percy Harvin is an offensive playmaker and a deep threat. Jared Allen is a pass rusher. I'm going to have to see how many years is left on his contract. Uh, Cedric Griffin is injury prone. That's true. He's blown both of his knees in the past two seasons. And AP is fumble prone, even though he had one fumble last year. I guess you got to have more than one good season fumble wise to uh, have the media cut you some slack and for NFL Madden developers to realize that you don't fumble that much anymore. 
And so, like, the Vikings, they just signed Adrian Peterson to a huge contract. I'm probably going to be doing the same thing because I don't want to have anybody else take his spot. And so, thank you guys for watching the first episode in my Madden online or offline franchise with my Minnesota Vikings as we look to bring a Lombardi Trophy to Minneapolis for the first time in team history. So, come back next episode when the Vikings take on the Tennessee Titans in the first week of the preseason and we get close to the regular season and we make the necessary cuts on our way to making the 2011 edition of the Minnesota Vikings.